Hi. I love what Tim said. The um, every day I don't drink is a holiday and holiday standing for holy day because that's the miracle right there that each and every one of us is so grateful for that we don't have to be um, imprisoned by that disease of alcoholism that made us hate ourselves so much and isolated us from one another. And, you know, I was going to bring the topic of um, I'm grateful for meetings. And it, it kind of relates to that idea of expectations because what happens, you know, our child self had all these expectations about holidays, right? Ooh, we're going to see this and this is going to happen and it's special. And, you know, there's that little anticipatory buzz that happens. And um, I was thinking about that because uh, what, what I was really expecting or hoping for was a loving connection. You know, that's what, that's what we attach to that. Maybe getting some attention and love too. And what I was going to bring up meetings for is because what do we do here? We give and receive loving attention to one another. And we're able to, you know, tell on ourselves like Nancy did and then get a new perspective. We're able to um, experience this loving connection. And it's really healing. It's like the most healing thing in the world. You know, if we don't drink and we have this loving connection with one another, it is kind of a portal into our higher power and um, and that holy <laughs> day of being sober. Um, I put in the chat box, these two guys have done a, for a series of four YouTubes on um, Forgive 2020. And uh, one of them's in recovery and they're um, they're really good. They keep it simple um, and they have meditations to go along with it. So you can look it up on YouTube. But um, one of the things this one guy, Mark Lord says is, um, when I know I'm seeing things in a negative way, poor me, you know, it's not how I want it, right? Because I had expectations for a certain way and then, oh, it's not how I want it. And um, I, I have a lot of that kind of thinking going on. Oh, it's not going to be okay. We're moving to a different place. And I keep telling myself, well, it doesn't have this and it doesn't have that. And, um, you know, and that's playing God, right? Because it, it is uh, what it is and it's going to be great. You know, it'll be different and it'll be great. So when I'm torturing myself in that way, quite often um, I use uh, this phrase, you know, God help me to see this differently. Because our higher power you know, it's like the seventh step, right? You know, in the sixth step, we become entirely ready to get rid of our negative thinking by it driving us nuts and embarrassing us and whatever else it causes us to do. And then we get humble enough to say, you know, okay, God, relieve me of this. Um, and I love this idea of asking my higher power to help me to see it differently because just like in the seventh step, it's not I who forces myself to be positive. You know, I can use my willpower to come to a meeting. I can use my willpower to get myself to pray, to meditate, and so on. But the actual switch from the negative to the positive, from the fear to the love, I believe is um, done by my higher power so that I can see the world through the eyes of love rather than through the eyes of fear. And of course, my default setting is to see the world <laughs> through the eyes of fear, right? I'm not going to get this. I'm not going to get that. I didn't get that. You know, those old condition patterns that are really no longer relevant um, because I did have loving connection during the holiday. You know, I was with my husband and um, we met with some people over the weekend and, you know, very carefully. And I went to meetings and uh, connected with the people who stream love into me from my higher power, even sometimes when I feel like it's not there for me. So I'm really grateful for meetings because they really are an attitude adjustment, <laughs> literally for me. Thank you.